Today is all about the do's and the don'ts from 100 yards. Because I want you to be birdie puttying every single time. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. Uh, Seven Diamonds clothing, links in the video description below, discount there for you. Oh, and I'm wearing a true Lynx wear shoes. Things are pretty awesome. Link below for those as well. First off, do not set up with your hands way forward at setup. And do not try to get here at impact. Instead, do this. Put the butt of your club right on your belt buckle here. Take your grip. Then just slide it right here to where your pocket starts. Your left pocket, right there. Your ball's here, right in the middle. And then right there. Right there is where you wanna begin your setup. Do we want our hands forward through impact? Of course, of course we do. But we're gonna get there a different way other than just shoving our hands forward as we swing. Oh, hit the pole. <sighs> do not Take less club and swing harder. That philosophy might work when you're deciding between a seven and eight iron, but it does not work from 100 yards. You're much better off taking way more club and choking down a lot, because then you could take that more familiar full swing with a wedge or whatever club you choose from 100 yards. Take more club. Don't swing harder. Swinging harder is only gonna make you swing it farther. And when you swing farther, you're gonna lose all this. You're gonna have all this going on. You're gonna lose control at the top of your backswing. That is a 100 yard killer. Don't do that. I got way too much club here. I'm choking down a couple inches. Oh yeah, now I'm closer to the ball. I could see the ball better. My body position's better. Now I can feel it. That's a solid strike. Take way more. Don't take way more swing. Take way more club. Do not, whatever you do, Try to create power and speed by cranking your hips. The only thing that's going to produce is you losing your spine angle, which is here's your spine angle, right here, right? You're gonna crank your hips and you're gonna come up, your butt's gonna come in and you're gonna lose this angle. We wanna keep this angle as much as possible. So when you're trying to create separation here, what happens with these 100 yards, you do this, so separation would be here, but with this shot, you're just gonna do this. That's what you're gonna do. So as much as you don't wanna do that, we're all gonna do that. The average player will do that every time. So instead of trying to create power with your hips, here's what you're gonna do. One, you're gonna have more club, so it's not gonna be a problem, but two is this. I want you to create power by timing. And then you're gonna create power by timing and better ball striking by waiting and keeping your weight on that back foot as long as possible, almost until impact. And then I want you to rotate the hips. If you go early in the hips, you're doing this. I wanna stay on that back foot as long as possible. And then my power comes right at impact, the rotation. Just wait as long as possible. You're probably gonna hit four or five fat at the beginning, but once you get the feeling of just 
keeping that weight like in this back knee for as long as possible. Then you're doing this. Once you get the timing of it, you're going to hear a different sound when that club hits and makes contact with the ball. And it's going to sound a lot more like when you go watch professionals than um, you're used to. And then you might even have to go back to that more lofted club because you're making better contact, better compression, and the ball's gonna just go a lot farther. And listen for the sound. And you'll start to be like, ooh, I heard that one. This will be a tough one for most people. Do not, don't try to dig a divot. I want the most shallow divot possible. Why? When you're waiting on that back foot and you start coming down, you will hit behind it. And two, when you are trying to hit down, you will come over the top of it. It'll look like this. We don't want that. And by just brushing the grass and taking as little divot as possible, we're using the bounce of the club and learning how to drop the swing and the club on the right swing path. So although I might take a divot, the goal is to take as little divot as possible. Whew. Barely got anything there. When you do that, you're going to find that you're rotating the fastest right through impact. And that creates the last piece, which is incredibly special. At the beginning, we talked about doing this. If you're rotating at the last second, your hands will be in front longer, or they'll be matched up in this triangle longer. That's what we want. But if you rotate early, then you're flipping. But if you wait on it and rotate at the end, then your hands are catching up and you're keeping a perfect structure the entire time you're hitting these 100 yarders or any short one for that matter. And that will come without you even really trying to shove those hands forward. <laughs> and everything will happen naturally because you're not doing the things you shouldn't do, you are doing the things you should do. Do's and don'ts from 100 yards. Love you guys. See you next time.